Hey everybody, welcome to Family Jesus Time. Today we're continuing to look at growing in the character of Christ. Now last week we began a, a smaller section of that when we're talking about Christ's character of love. Because the idea of love with regards to God and his love for us is so huge. So it, it covers so much stuff. We kind of got to divide it into the different ways that Jesus shows love for us. Last week we looked at Jesus having tender-hearted love and his compassion and his care for his friends. This week we're going to talk about sacrificial love. Now, back in Jesus' time, it was very common for people to bring animals to sacrifice to the temple to pay for their sins or, or for various things to, to bring before God. And that didn't just happen in, in the Jewish faith. It happened in most, most uh, belief systems where people offered sacrifices to whatever God they worshiped. Now, today we don't sacrifice animals or living things like that, uh, but we do still make sacrifices. Like, um, if you are participating in confirmation when you're in middle school, um, confirmation happens a lot of times the same time that middle school uh, football happens. So sometimes you have to make a sacrifice, and some people choose to sacrifice coming to church to, to do middle school football and some people sacrifice football so that they can come and they can study confirmation. That's a sacrifice we make. Your parents made a sacrifice when they decide to have kids because kids, you guys are expensive. You're always outgrowing your clothes, you're always eating food and, and you're always needing something. In fact, my one son, Caleb, when we went and found out how much his braces were gonna be, I could have bought a brand new car for his braces. But we made a sacrifice so that he could have nice straight teeth and so he wouldn't have problems with his jaw as he grew up. We make sacrifices. And sometimes those sacrifices are good sacrifices. Sometimes we make sacrifices for something that really means something and we give up something that's not really so important. Sometimes though we don't think about our sacrifices and we give up something that's really important for someone that, something that's really kind of silly or foolish. Well, in your Bible reading today, we're talking about Jesus being the sacrifice and what he did, what he gave up to free us from our sins. And he was willing to give up his life. He was willing to be the sacrifice that paid the price for yours and my sins. That is pretty spectacular. So as we grow in the character of Christ, we also need to grow in our willingness to make sacrifices to help other people. The point of sacrifice is to be a blessing in someone's life. It's not so later on you can say you owe me because if you're truly making a sacrifice for somebody else, that is a gift. It's not something that they should at any time have to pay back, back to you. So if we're following in Christ's character, we're making little sacrifices to show love and to show love to other people. Like, you, you might give up your favorite seat in the car for your brother or sister as a sacrifice just to let them know that you love them and, and that you love your parents and you're not fighting over seats. Um, there might be one piece of pizza left and mom or dad might be late getting home from work and you and your brothers and sisters decide to make a sacrifice. You're not going to eat that pizza so mom or dad can get it when they get home. We all make sacrifices, but when we're following Jesus' example of being a loving sacrifice, we make sacrifices to show people we care and to show them how much we value them. So I hope you have a dis good discussion on sacrificial love today, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.